Hey, hello drum stickers! Here I am again, I'm back! Albert Iglesias, you know, this is Drumsticks at the channel and uh, we are talking about a different pair of drumsticks every week. First of all, sorry uh, about the last week, I have a pain in my back and uh, the doctor said it's better if you take a week to rest and recover and all the stuff, so you know, you have, to, you have to do it. So, but here I'm again, yeah, I've been uh, practicing the whole week, uh, so I'm going to show you a different model this week, which is, uh, uh, by the way, it's a request from our friend Carlos Acevedo, and he asked me to, okay, try the, the signature model from one of my favorite drummers, for sure, and one of the best drummers in the history, I think, which is Mr. Steve Smith. Cool. I don't know. I'm pretty sure most of you, most of you know who Steve Smith is. Um, in case you know, you don't know it. It's uh, well, he's mainly known because he's the he's been the main drummer from the uh, from the band Journey, pretty famous band in, in the United States and 60s and 70s and all that stuff. Um, he's been playing with them in three three different times. Let's say like that. Uh, and I, in fact, he's playing now, if I'm not wrong. He, he started the game in 2016, I think. And, but, but anyway, Steve Smith is an amazing drummer. Uh, you can check the Wikipedia you want, and you have some information about him. Uh, he also, he's, apart from Journey, he's uh, really known for, for, as a jazz drummer. Uh, and for me, I have to be fully honest here, I say it's my favorite drummer, it's not because of the music, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Journey, I don't know a lot of music of Journey, uh, or other bands he's been playing now, um, but I, it's my favorite because of the way he plays, it, it's, it's the way he plays, and uh, also the, the way he explains things, you have tons of different videos, and you have books, you have a lot of material from, from Steve Smith and he's an amazing teacher. He's able to explain things really, really clear and, and it's, it's really great. And for me, it's, in my case, I think it's one of the best grips in, in, in nowadays. And I mean, I, I really love the way he, he holds the stick. It's really relaxed. It makes things uh, looks really, really easy. And I really love his style, and I hope in, I I always thought that in the future I have to have to make I don't know have to go to some kind of camp or whatever. He he's been doing some camps in the past. I don't know, but I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do it in, in the future. Uh, okay, cool. Let's talk about his drumsticks, okay? Uh, let Let's see the picture first, okay? This is the signature big field model from Mr. Steve Smith. First, let's say the sizes and all that. You can go to the uh, Bigfoot page, as always, have the information there. Length 16 inches, uh, about the grip 0 0.555. We have short taper, uh, kind of peculiar tip, it's kind of in the middle between a barrel tip and an oval tip, I would say. Uh, a hickory and a regular finish from. Uh, from Big Bird. Okay, cool. If we translate that, as always, 16 inches, nothing to say, like 5A from Big Bird, blah, 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 blah. Kind of a standard length. Uh, okay, we have, the grip is 0 0.555. Uh, so we have kind of a little bit less than, than a 5A. 5A is, is uh, 0 0.565, and we have 555. It's not a lot, but you can, of course, notice that in your hand. And um, what else? Well, super short taper for especially for this kind of drumsticks. Uh, I mean, uh, thinner drumsticks usually have 
medium taper, but in this case it's a short taper. And the tip is, as you can see, it's super strange. It's, it's like, for me, it's like a barrel that has been stretched. So you have the regular barrel and they have, you know, stretched in this part. So that's a drumstick, okay? I'm kind of super excited <laughs> this week because, well, as you know, I've mentioned this many times in the past. I usually, I never check any information of the drumstick during the week. Uh, to avoid, you know, contamination, or, well, my contamination, and when I'm trying and testing all that, but just before the video, I usually check if I have, they have some video, some information in the page, or whatever, and they have, in fact, they have pretty, I just have to check one video, because it's, it's uh, you have the, the, in fact, you have video here, in, in the Big Trip page, and it's, the, it's Steve Smith himself explaining the drumstick, so <laughs> what else can you say? Uh, and I'm, I'm saying that I'm super excited because it's, he just mentioned two main things of the drumstick that it's exactly the two things that I wanted to mention to you. You can believe it or not, it, I don't care, <laughs> but it's, it's the truth. Uh, so, but just before that, that two things, just a little bit, a, a quick thing about the, the thickness as always. Uh, it's up to you if, if you're comfortable with thinner or thicker drumsticks. It's a thin drumstick, as, uh, as a general sensation, it's a, thi a thin drumstick, less than a 5A. Uh, you have to try that, okay? It's kind of hard to say because, but I, I would say that don't close your mind. I mean, sometimes you feel, no, I, I really, I prefer thick drumstick, but sometimes you, you get a thin drumstick, but the response is different and you start feeling different and it, okay, okay, maybe not for rock, but I can use it for this other thing or it's good for this other situation. Check that out at least, okay? Be open-minded, I would say, in general about drumsticks. Uh, okay, cool, that's about the thickness, as I always say, okay? It's really, really personal thing and that you have to test, okay, by yourself. Cool, two main things that I say. First thing, taper. Taper and the behavior of that taper and all that stuff. A little bit of history. You can. I'm going to repeat what he said in the video. Okay. He started playing with 2B when, when he was playing with Journey and he played uh, with uh, thick drumstick. He was going for volume and you, you know he at that time he doesn't have such a, an amazing technique uh, as uh, today. So he was looking for volume for getting more and he was playing with thick drumsticks and holding in the back of the drumstick and all that stuff. Um, okay, when he started developing his technique, it was improving and all that. He realized that he was he was needing something more thin, right? To to well, he feel it feel better in your hand in, her, in in his hand, and he was looking for that. So he moved to five A's, and but when uh, when Bigfoot approached him to say, okay, do you want to design a signature model? Um, he, he realized that, okay, one of the main problems that he was having with the 5A is the tendency of the 5A, of the standard 5A, to, to go back. I mean, uh, they have a medium taper, regular awkward tip from Big Fifth. So, but it's really kind of true that the, the main tendency is a little bit to go back. And, and he preferred a drumstick that goes a little bit, he, he mentioned that he preferred a kind of balanced like that, more flat, uh, instead of like this, right? I mean, in, in rest position, the 5A would be like this, and I mean, with this, and uh, in this case, we have this. Why? Because he decided to add more weight here. That's why he decided to, to, to make the, the taper shorter. Uh, and it, it totally works. I mean, you know that, we've been mentioning this in the past many times, but. You can feel this in this drumstick, the, the tendency to, to move forward, right? Uh, so, it kind of it, it, it's kind of shocking at the beginning because when you hold the drumstick in your hand, you because of the thickness, the first idea is oh, it's going to be a light and kind of easy to move uh, drumstick, but it, the, the drumstick has a really, really uh, big tendency to, to move forward, right? You can feel that in your hand. So, that's about the taper. I, I, we can add that to that, the, the tip thing. I mean, that's the other thing he mentioned in the video. 
uh, let's say the tip is about the sound, we're going to talk about the sound in a minute, but uh, we can add this uh, taper and a more weight here thing uh, if we consider that the, this taper is kind of big. Uh, it's long, but it's so at the same time it's big, so you have even more weight here. So the whole thing, the short taper and the big tip, it's collaborating or it's, it's, it's giving you that, that forward tendency. Okay? Cool. About the sound, he described exactly what we've been saying here many, many times when we talk about long uh, tips, which is the angle thing. Okay? When you have this kind of, of, of tip that with a flat uh, area here or surface here, you have you can modify the sound of the drumstick. Okay? Why? Because if you touch a surface like this. You have more wood touching, more weight in, you know, the stroke is going to uh, have more surface. Uh, so in case of the cymbals, for example, it's going to open more. Uh, you're going to get more overtone, open sound, more overtones. So you get that sound from the right, okay? Or the snare or whatever. In, but in case of the right, it's the place where you're going to notice that pretty clear. Uh, and at the same time, if you modify the angle of attack, okay, just a little bit because of the way, this because of this because this part is completely flat or almost flat, almost flat. Let's say the, the moment you modify this a little bit, you can see that you lose a lot of surface touching. So you move from a really open sound to a more uh, uh, precise, more defined with a sound with more definition, okay? So you can hear the tip more, you can hear the ding, 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 right? You can hear more the tip, uh, more focused sound. Uh, and he's playing exactly that. If you check the videos, you're gonna see that. Uh, and that's why I say I'm kind of excited because he, he's kind of confirming different things that we've been uh, mentioning in, in, in different videos, right? And so that's, that's it, I would say. Trying to recap about this drumstick, I really love the definition that, uh, or the, the, the sentence that uh, uh, Bigfoot Page is using. He says, provides the feel of a 5A with the beef of a 5B. Great definition. I mean, when you get the drumstick in your hand, you feel, oh, it's kind of a 5A, it's a feeder, and blah, blah, blah. But when you start using the drumstick, you feel, okay, this, this drumstick is, uh, it's not light, it, it doesn't feel light. It feels more, uh, as I say, moving forward. So it's kind of give you that 5B thing that you uh, usually, or sometimes you are looking for when you move from 5A to 5B or something like that. So it gives you that, right? Um, great definition. I think it's a, uh, the best way to, to recap the behavior of this drumstick. So if you are a 5A around guy uh, or gal, and, but you want a little bit more of that 5B uh, thing, uh, great, great option. Uh, you are going to have to get used to the tip, but it's just a question of time. Once you start playing on uh, trying and modifying the angle, you're going to realize that it's really good to have that option too. In your your toolbox, okay, cool. So we have seven days, I hope, in front of us to practice, okay. So see you next Sunday. By the way, for those of you that are, for whatever reason, are able to or want to uh, enjoy of a great drum festival, you have the Tam Tam Drum Fest, uh, November the fourth, I think, and you can check it out in the Tam Tam Percussion dot com uh, web page. Awesome festival, Ashan is coming, well, many people is coming, so if you have a chance, please. And if you, for whatever reason you go there, and you are watching this video or all be whatever, you know, if you know the channel, say hi, okay? Cool, see you in seven days. Goodbye.